Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to The Color of Beautiful, our daily colorism news update. I am so happy to be here, Dr. Karen Moore, founder of I Am The Color of Beautiful, global spoken word initiative and movement. So I'm really glad to be here tonight to talk about our colorism news issue. We're here every night, Monday through Friday, somewhere between five and six o'clock PM to bring you some of the latest news on colorism. So today I wanna to talk to you about an article that I read in WCSJ News. And this was an article from August 17th, which was yesterday. And it talks about Elmen Mirgani, who is a 28-year-old Sudanese Egyptian woman who grew up in Doha, Qatar, and has been grappling with anti-Blackness since she was a child. And it's a really interesting article because she talks about the fact that for as long as I could remember, she says, I've always felt like my skin color has been an issue for everyone around me. And we know that that's an issue that a lot of dark skinned women do deal with, that their skin is an issue for the people around them as well as for them. And she talks about in the article how she was gifted, gifted skin bleaching cream when she was 13 years old. So from the ages of 13 to 15, she skin bleached. And it wasn't until she got into her high school years that she was able to get around people who gave her a whole different perspective of who she was and about the color of her skin. And so she says she has three sisters, all of whom are a lot lighter than she was, and people always complimented them for their beauty. And she never really felt like that, that she was treated in the same way. And so she did the skin bleaching from the ages of 13 to 15 with the hopes of gaining a little bit more confidence. So we're looking still at issues of low self-esteem, low self-worth, all of these things being applied to the color of your skin and applied to your self-worth as an individual. And she talks about the fact that skin bleaching creams can be extremely dangerous because they have harmful chemicals that can really do things to your body. And you know, when you're changing when you're changing things about your body, you have to really be very mindful and very careful of what you're doing to your skin, which is the largest organ of the body, is the skin. And so you're actually trying to alter the largest organ of your skin. You, I mean, I can't even imagine what that begins to do to your body along of what it does with her skin. She talked about she started breaking out into rashes and having some other issues with the skin lightening. So she's a filmmaker. She was able to come into her own and learn to love and appreciate herself. And so now she's a filmmaker and she is doing some films addressing the issue of colorism and how people feel about dark skinned people and how we need to begin to not only be aware of this issue, but begin to really address it seriously in our communities. We've got to be able to do that. So what I wanted to do also today in this talk is to just share some images with you. So here's an image of an extremely beautiful, beautiful, dark skinned girl. And one of the things that I believe is so important as we address colorism, as we address the issue of colorism, is we've got to begin to show images and talk about these images as being beautiful. 
Because once we can do that, we can get our girls and our women to see that, yes, this is what beauty, this is what beauty is. And so here's another one. So this is an image of beauty. This is an image of incredible, absolute beauty. And this is what, again, we have to show as being beauty in our communities. We get to decide what the standard of beauty is for us. We don't need Hollywood or, or the fashion industry or anyone else telling us what is beautiful. We get to decide what is beautiful and we proclaim our beauty across all genres. Here's another one. These are the images we have to show of what beauty is. And we take nothing away from light skin, but we're already told light skin is beautiful. When we see certain people that are put in front of us and they are touted as being beautiful, we already know that they're beautiful. The thing is, what about darker skin? Another image of beauty. So we're saying this is what's beauty. This is what we call beauty and we need for not only media, we need for institutions, we need for the government, we need for all platforms to acknowledge that this is what is beautiful. And so as we continue this, this platform and this vocal, awareness of what beauty is. We're continuing to shine the light on colorism and shine the light on what is being considered as not being beautiful. So I just wanted to come in for a few minutes and talk with you all and let you see some images, images that we need to be showing and projecting to our young people, to our daughters, that I am the color of beautiful. You are the color of beautiful. That our dark skin is the color of beautiful. So we hope that you will share this broadcast. We hope that you will sit down with your daughters and your nieces and your granddaughters and the girls that you mentor and your sister friends, your sister girls and those that are dark skin and remind them that we are the color of beautiful, that you are beautiful and that you can embrace that. You can take pride in it. You can, we say, we wear it loud. We say it proud. I am the color of beautiful. You are the color of beautiful. And so I just wanted to take those few minutes to share this with you and for you to be able to go forth and know that you are beautiful, that deep, dark, beautiful skin that you are walking in. Love it. Love the skin that you are in.